Hey everyone, I'm Moose with Cerakote. If you've watched any of our video tutorials about customizing Cerakote, you've probably heard us say the term tack free. But what does that actually mean? In this video, we're breaking it down. What tack free means, why it matters, and how to check for it. Let's get into it. Tack-free refers to a specific stage in the Cerakote curing process. When the coating is solidified, it feels dry, and you can't leave any fingerprints or impressions. But here's the catch. It only lasts for a short window of time, and you need your parts to be in this tack-free state if you're going to handle them before they're fully cured, or if you're applying multiple layers of color or stencils. If you handle a part that hasn't yet become tack free or apply and peel stencils too soon, you risk smudging, imprints, and even delamination of the coating. If you wait too long, you'll miss the adhesion window by accidentally over flashing the coating. This means the coating has cured too long and has become chemically resistant to itself. This would result in poor adhesion and delamination of that layer of coating. So how do you get your parts to a tack free state? For H-Series Cerakote, after your parts have ambiently flashed for at least 15 minutes, you'll need to place your parts into a preheated oven between 150 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 30 minutes. Why such a large time window in the oven? It depends on the part's density. Heavier parts need more time to reach that tack-free state. And remember, it's just like a steak. Your parts will continue to cure after they come out of the oven. That means thicker parts will have more post oven cook time. When it's time to check your part, always start by touching the hook or the fixture, not the part itself. If there's any masking or stencils applied, this is another preferred area to check your parts. If there's coating transfer to your finger, it's not tack free. Give it another five minutes in the oven and check again. If there's no coating transfer, gently touch an inconspicuous area of the part. If there's no coating transfer here and the part feels slightly tacky, it's time to pull it from the oven. You'll need to allow the part to cool before applying stencils or layering more colors. After cooling, if the part still feels tacky, place it back into the oven for additional time until it reaches tack free. And that's it. Hopefully this helps you understand what tack free really means and how to hit that perfect timing. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Cerakote tips and tutorials. See you next time.